Hi, I'm Stacy Bravero, an artist, a multidisciplinary artist, and um, yeah, um, being answer some questions. Hmm. I think art came to me. I know it sounds a bit cliche, but um, I've always known that I wanted to be an artist. I've always known um, art was a part of my um, DNA, and um, I feel like I'm a child. You know, I always wanted to play with colors, um, materials, try to manipulate clay. Yeah, I was that kid writing on the wall. I can't remember my first painting, so um, I would describe. Yeah, I still was straight from the books I read when I was in high school. So I guess probably a girl sitting by um, by a bed with a dog. I think. I think I drew I drew that in a bigger scale for my first exhibition in high school. I start my drawings with a single dot and then I kind of have a mental picture sometimes uh, a mental picture of what I want to create or quite recently I've been letting the creative process kind of take shape by itself so just letting go of like trying to process what's, uh, what's next so just letting my hand just play, letting the medium come to, to the forefront and take the lead and uh, ex exploring the art of letting go and letting the work create itself and then my style is varied you know, it's, uh, I explore different things and they speak to me like the, the line of form collection is quite abstract where I'm exploring lines and how they interact together to create form and depth and unity. Um, I'm also exploring the different collections in the, in the series. Um, color, um, femininity, subject matter is completely different. So um, it's quite varied. Folklore. Well, right now I'm trying to explore and document stories from um, from, you know, history, stories I grew up with, told, tales by midnight, some of the stories that, you know, have not been documented and are gradually being um, phased off. So, um, I'm trying to do a series where I go to as many um, older people to kind of document all the stories and then create work that references that. So I would say um, it's really interesting for me. I'm exploring that correctly. Can I be honest? Um, I hate it. <laughs> I feel like female only anything, especially in the arts, it's always that question of where are the women in the arts? You know, you don't see male only exhibitions. I feel like female-only exhibitions put women or female artists very, very where the um, mainstream is like artists. You, you, you hardly hear male artists or male artists exhibitions. It's, it feel like it isolates female artists. I don't want to be regarded as a female artist or be seen as a female. I just want to be an artist. Period. I face the same obstacles that male artists face. You know, funding in arts, um, uh, the, the system, which doesn't have a solid structure, at least here in Nigeria. But it's growing, it's evolving, good things are happening, exciting things are happening, arts are happening, um, you know, um, sponsorships for the arts, um, sometimes showing the work you know, in the right space, in the right sort of gallery. Being present in art fairs and things like that's really hard to get plugged in sometimes. Uh, art and culture frames the identity of the people that are immersed in that society or in that culture. It forms the conditioning that people engage with. I'm working on um, a color and form um, series.
series that explores how colors um, speak to each other and um, creates form out of nothingness. So it's a little bit um, experimental um, and it's very interesting. I'm Stacey Primer again and it's nice talking to you.